Higdon Outdoors Television is brought to you by Sea Art Boats. Boats built for a lifetime. Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. All right, Higdon Outdoors Television back in the field this morning. You can see the guys stubbling the blinds behind me. We're in the corn again, fresh cut silage, which is a little out of character for us this time of year. Temperatures are low, not usually what uh, we deal with this time of year, but uh, we're used to getting after them in the alfalfa and the hay fields, enjoying some warm temperature hunting, but uh, we've had north wind for about four or five days now. It's blowing heavy, it's blowing hard out of the north, so birds are feeding heavy into the corn, high moisture, high energy feed. And uh, we adjust, we do what we gotta do to get them. So uh, stick with us, Higdon Outdoors Television, coming at you. The good thing about today is we're gonna be back, back lit. We have the sun's gonna be right behind us. Uh, everything's gonna be just perfect. Got about a 20, 25 mile an hour east wind. Very rare that you get east wind. But with clear skies as they come in, they're gonna be hovering. So they have a lot to look at. What's good for us is also they're gonna have the sun in their eyes. So hopefully we'll see how this goes and we're gonna get stubbled up and uh, give her a whirl. That wind is starting to blow a little more east. I mean, if it blows straight out of that east and that sun's in their eyes, it's lights out, it's over. I think, and I think the focal point that we want is it should be right here. I think we want them looking right here. The only thing we could do is I may pull a couple of these larger giants and pull them just down, they just for something, yeah, just for something for them to, you know, to come into. The wind's supposed to blow 20, 25 mile an hour. Of course, you guys, it's kilometers, I don't, you know. I'm not really smart enough yet to do the conversion in my head. <laughs> it's going to be a heavy it's gonna, wind. Yeah, it's going to be a heavy wind. So there's going to be a lot to look at and all that. But I think we're I mean, we're in the swath. Obviously, the blinds are tight. Everybody's going to have to shoot their lane. Um, but, yeah, uh, be a big thing today. but I think you're right. If we move some decoys out from there down to the left side, uh, I think that will help them yeah. center them up a bit for our shooters. And as they come in, I mean, at any point, if, if they're coming in this lane, the sun's going to be right in their eyes. So we'll put just a couple decoys out downwind of us something to look at and we ought to be good I like that. it's going to be good man it's got all the elements for a good goose hunt uh we're in probably the goose capital of the world and we've got the awesome food source so should be a banger up you, th you take a look around you're like okay this is a cut cornfield we've hunted that a few times but when you get out here um, it's obvious that the birds have just recently found this field and they haven't eaten it out yet this is a huge food source for them you know these birds if you look at a map, we're up here, you know, above New York, New Jersey, Vermont, and everything, kind of in that corner. And they're having to feed, they're having to get all that energy and get all that bulk built up so they can continue their migration south. And this, this is what this field's perfect for. Get out! 
up! Whoa, whoa, nice shoot, thanks. I'm tight on him. Get ready, we on him? I'm tight on him. Hey, Mr. Al, you kill him when he gets in. He's all yours, buddy. Oh my God. <laughs> I just winged him. <laughs> Let him land. Let the pair land. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> out front. The group out front. <laughs> Here we come out front. Let them set up. Let them set up. They're going. That's okay. Oh, you're cool. See how they see how they squared up just then. Get on them out front, out front. Here we go. Let them go through. Let them go through. Low group out front. Low group straight out front. Out front, out front. Get ready, out front. Get ready, out front. She on us earlier when they were coming off to the right and they were setting up on the right side of our spread and Sean pulled that flapper and they literally maple leafed it as you guys call it. We call them flip. Yeah. But they flipped over to the to their right, right. and uh, centered us up and they were perfect. going to land right beside that flapper. Everybody it's the greatest thing in the world because you know you can put a flapper on each end of the spread. If they try to skirt one side or the other, yeah. you just tell the guy oh, on yeah. your end, he has free reign. If they're yeah. pulling too far to the right, if he wants something right in front of him, just pull it one pull it. one pull and it centers them up. It's the best thing in the world to center up geese. Yeah. Hey Corey. Okay to let Al shoot these? Okay. Hey Al, yeah, yeah. you're spotlighted on these, bro, okay? <laughs> no, we're going, you, we, you're going to be all right. Al, it's tried by fire. Okay. Yep, that's Al, if you don't triple tap, you go to the car. <laughs> right in front. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Get them, Al. Oh! Woo! Right front. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Two. Get them, Al. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Good morning. What do you think? That's why you I wanted to set by you. Just to shoot himself. Or? Yeah. <laughs> Pair out front. Pair out front. Falling straight in. Pair out front. Get him, Al. Get him. You got time. That's it. Hey. We wanted to do something different. Something new or something better. We're really changing the game when it comes to how calls are made. We're the first to do a, a completely full carbon fiber call. 
When you're hunting every day of the season, calls break. Here at Power Calls, we don't feel like that should be common. The carbon fiber, we can run it over with a truck. It's not gonna break. Strength to weight ratio is, is just off the chart. So put that into a game call, you have something that's pretty much indestructible. If it's in the bottom of your game call bag or whatever, you don't really have to worry about it at all, a breaking or cracking or anything. Kelly's super passionate about Power Calls. He's taken his knowledge and hunting and contest calling and turned it in to a product. I'm taking a tone board that I have blown and used for 20 something years, hunting, calling contest, and molding that, making it out of a material that's not gonna wear anymore. I sat down with Jesse, what's our mechanical engineer. I always told him, hey, I love aluminum. So I really want to experiment with titanium. And the reason is because it's almost an indestructible material. He comes back a couple weeks later and says, hey, after talking with you, I've come up with some formula calculations. Let me show you what I've got. So through all the testing, we found out using multiple different materials, such as you know, acrylic, polystyrene, polycarbonate, and we plug them in and find out how they're different related to it. And titanium just shines head and shoulders above the rest. Everyone wants a call that can't be broken, that sounds better, that looks better. We're using materials that increase volume, they're more durable. Not only is this exactly what we wanted, but we have the science behind it to prove the end result that we're gonna get.